Hi! In this video we take a look at a human fingernail under a microscope. We compare fresh and used car oil, as well as what is actually put into a sausage. And sausages that we eat. Oh, it's snowing this winter, and it would be silly not to look at the snowflakes under a microscope, especially since so many have written to us about it. But since the temperature is in plus inside, bringing a snowflake indoors would melt it right away. So we had no choice but to take the microscope outside, out into the cold. Yes, that's what you do for a video. Taking a snowflake with our hands was not really an option, since they were all piled together and got damaged when we touched them. Then we took a piece of paper and held it under the falling snow, waiting for a beautiful specimen. After all, it turned out that all snowflakes are different. For example, this one wasn't flat, but three-dimensional, with a mini snowflake on top and a bigger one underneath. Sometimes I come across these ugly mutant snowflakes. And next to them were these fluffy beauties. This is a disabled snowflake. On the way here, she lost one limb, as a result of a collision with another, I suppose. They say that no two snowflakes are alike, and it seems that that is true. After all, each of these snowflakes makes its way from the cloud to the ground, and its shape depends on the temperature and humidity at each point along its path. Even if two snowflakes fly side by side, there will still be a tiny difference in the formation of each snowflake. And they will be different from each other, though only slightly. In the last video, we were not able to look at the scales of a fish, because our fish was scaleless. We want to remedy this situation, and this time we bought a fish with scales. Using tweezers, it was surprisingly easy to get the scales out. And under magnification, we see these transparent plates with grooves around the edges which are very similar to the fingerprint of a person. Scales give the body of a fish a streamlined exterior and reduces resistance to movement in the water by smoothing out faults and irregularities in the skin formed during movement. It also has a protective function during collision with branches or sharp rocks. One great subscriber gave us a good idea compare fresh car engine oil with already used one. Great! To take the used oil, we'll need a car and its engine. We'll take a sample from under the filler plug. Some will say that they could have dripped from the dipstick to measure the oil level, but in this car it just doesn't exist. We also bought this new oil at the store. Both samples were placed on the same glass, In the beginning, we take a look at the clean oil. And in essence, it is absolutely transparent. And now we switch to the used oil. And yeah, this is the kind of oil we see at a lot of different debris. Probably there are pieces of metal which are scrapped off of the engine cylinder. Probably it was necessary to get the oil filter of the engine and to take a look at what was accumulated in it. In fact, it filters oil and collects in it all dirt. So don't forget to change the oil in your car on time if you have one. A lot of people wanted us to look at a tangerine peel. So I thought to myself, why not? And in the end, I didn't regret it. Look at what's inside the peel. There are some strange holes, or I would even say craters of small volcanoes. Perhaps the tangerine is breathing through them, or giving off some kind of odor. I don't know what their purpose is, to be honest. I'd be interested to read your guesses. Now let's look at a human fingernail. The nail is a dense plate located on the fingertip, and they serve to protect our fingers from mechanical damage. And you can also pick something with them, for example, like this. So we cut off a little piece of a nail and put it under a microscope. That's what a fingernail looks like. Like a piece of plastic. 
It seems to me that in its composition the nail is very similar to the skin, it's just that all elements in it are probably docked together more tightly. Let's say pressed. Apparently that's why they grow so slowly, only 1 to 2 mm per week. A subscriber sent us a video from TikTok when they take a piece of sausage, cut it up and put it under a microscope. Under magnification it shows that the sausage has a lot of debris and hairs on it. Do they really put so much junk into a sausage product that we all eat? We need to figure it out. We bought a mid-price sausage and a frankfurter at a store. To investigate, we also cut up a piece of a sausage. Then we put them under the microscope. And so, first we take a look at the sausage. And surprisingly, we don't see any trash. We see a mass consisting of meat and other animal elements, I suppose. And there's nothing else. It's basically the same with the other sausage. We see particles of meat and fat. And you probably already know what I'm going to tell you guys. The TikTok video is definitely fake. First of all, the microscope itself there is some kind of a child's toy. And secondly, you can see that all the hairs and the debris are not sticking out of the meat, but just located on top of it. Which means there definitely wasn't any inside the sausage. It's very easy to replicate. For example, just take a piece of a sausage and touch it with your clothes or the dust on furniture. Let's see! Oh my god! How much garbage is in these sausages? What bastards these sausage factories! What do they feed us? YouTube authors like this are still somehow trying to do more untruthful content. TikToks or videos on YouTube. It's often all fakes in order to surprise the audience and gain views. But I'm not defending the sausage makers. It's quite possible that many of them do add things to their products that shouldn't be there. But they definitely do it in such a way that it would be extremely difficult to notice under a microscope. For example, they put animal gristle and skin in the mashed potatoes, which in this form is very similar to meat. The full picture can only be shown by chemical analysis. But hey, at least we didn't find any sort of garbage, dirt or other debris in this video. Subscribe to the channel, we are always making more interesting content.